live stream. I'm Dennis Cole and tonight I'm going to be creating some characters. So first off the bat, let's go with my female lead who is blonde haired and blue eyed for a reason. Because in this, uh, let me look at this camera. My camera is sagging, folks. <laughs> it's not the camera. It is this arm that I've got it attached to. And it is not staying put. So hopefully it'll stay there for the stream. <sighs> and now to Daz Studio. So, the story is called Aardvark Practice, and this is Krista. She is a library assistant, and her fellow library assistant goes to what she calls Zebra Practice. Now, this is keeping the whole department at the library guessing as to just what zebra practice or aardvark practice is. So, <laughs> and it turns out that Krista here is learning to be a healer, so, but she doesn't want to reveal her big plan yet because she's going to leave her job. So she doesn't want her boss to know. So, um, Aardvark practice. Anyway, um, so I'm going to, um, I've already got her in a default outfit. This is my default blonde file. I want her in jeans though. So I'm going to change this um, to a t-shirt and jeans. So let's find the clothes. And she is also going to be wearing a terry bathrobe. So let's um, find pants and I'll go with that. These are Genesis 8, so good. I'll just put her in capris. <laughs> All right, let's find her a t shirt. So we're going to find her just a default t shirt. Well, I would have to do a bunch of settings for that one. Let's just do, yeah. All right, and we'll get rid of the dress. Casual style dress. Bye bye. Okay, now let's fix this shirt. So we're gonna. 82 action shirt. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go. Actually, I just want to go to parameters first and okay, it's fit to the Genesis 8. Female, it's auto following the transforms. So that's what I want. Let's go to the simulation and see if we can. Hmm. Ah, it doesn't have um, 
Let's see if it has just scale. Let's make it just slightly bigger. It's looking really weird. All right, now. I run a simulation here. I mean, I'm not seeing a thing with iterations. Um, hmm. So, how do I get it to run the simulation? Let's go over here to simulation. Okay. I don't want a video, I just want to do it. Um, maybe that's just the video to show you how to do a simulation. I know how to do a simulation, but usually you have controls. That camera looks like it's off me. It is. <sighs> Will you stay put? Let's try that. Okay, that's better. Okay, back to Daz. This is making me mad. So, goodbye shirt. I am picking another shirt. This is ridiculous. Okay, I need another shirt. The well, pants seem okay for now, but this shirt is not working for me today. So, uh, not exactly the kind of shirt I was picturing. I want a t-shirt. Is that too much to ask of you, Daz? I want a t-shirt. I know I have them. <sighs> well, I want a t shirt. Shirts. Tell you what, I'm going for the. This is, um, Why am I not getting a pop-up to say, okay, this is a Genesis thing. Really? All right, let's try it again. I had to reinstall my DAS today. Maybe this is something to do with that. All right, I want the Genesis 2, so let's see. <sighs> I just want a t-shirt, that's all I want. I'm having to go through all of these things to get it. All right, let's put her in that. Uh, except I don't know how to fix that. It's just, it doesn't have controls. So, <laughs> I am getting frustrated. This is not right. All right, I need shirts. Slow down. All right. And I'm not getting anything to fit it. This is crazy. What the heck, Daz? Oh, all right. So my Daz is not acting as I expect. This is going to be problematic for my live stream tonight. Because I have to have this working. I don't know why it's not. 
So let me see. All right, I am filtering my context here. Hello. It should give me shirts that fit my uh, Genesis 8 female figure. So let's see. Oh, good. There's a robe. So let me first get the shirt, then I'll worry about the robe. So I need the shirt. And it's showing me male stuff. Does it not recognize that this is a female figure? Oh. <laughs> it helps if you click the um, figure that you want. Okay. All right. I want a t-shirt. I want a t-shirt. Okay. All right. Let's find a t-shirt. Well, hmm. All right. I'm not finding what I want. Let's see if this will do. And nothing is happening. Why? I double clicked you. Why are you not appearing on my female? <sighs> I'm just getting frustrated. Nothing is working. Let me restart Daz. Let me save this. I'll try one more thing. The boho usually works. Finally, I have a shirt. It is not the shirt I want, but it is a shirt. It's going to be covered up with the bathrobe anyway. Let's hope the robe works. So, I need this. Just an open robe. All right. Now, can we get it to fit is the thing. <sighs> fit to. And we're going to... I don't want to fit the female. I want to fit the robe. And I'm going to change the target to the boho blouse. That helped a little bit. <sighs> Here, we have iterations. We have iterations. We can do this now. All right. So, and we'll set a couple of collisions. A couple more. A couple more. Give it more smoothing. All right. That's not really how I pictured the uh, the boho blouse is not going to work. All right. Let's change this back to. Genesis 8 female. All right. And we got to lose the blouse. Okay. Let me find just a shirt that fits flat to her body so the robe will do. <sighs> Why is this so hard tonight? I'm going to be whining in a minute. Okay. Let's find... A shirt that is there was a polo shirt I could try it let 
it would help if I selected my female. It really would. Okay, let's try the polo shirt. And it's too short. <laughs> this is terrible. Okay. <sighs> One more time. Genesis 8 female. Give me a shirt. I need a shirt. I don't need shoes. I need a shirt. Thank you. Let's try a sweater. It's too short. Honestly. All right. Wardrobe problems. Da, 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 da. Okay. <laughs> this is terrible. Uh, okay. I'm going to skip that because I don't want to fool with it. All right. Well, that is the shirt that is supposed to fit with that. If I just make it the same color, maybe it will do. So I will go to surfaces. I don't really want to go monochromatic, but this is not giving me many choices here unless I get rid of the pants and pick another pair of pants. I could just do that. All right, let's find another pair of pants that will do what I want. I want jeans. That's how I have it written in the story. She's wearing jeans. <sighs> so, trending socials pants is not really what I had in mind. Uh, fancy leggings is not trousers. Let's try trousers. Much better. Okay, and if I make them blue, then it will do better. A good old MDU. Okay, so I'm going to make these blue. And they're not going to be blue unless I lose the texture. So goodbye. Ah, uh, that's too bright. Let's make it darker. I need a good, almost a navy. Try that. Ah, uh, it's still too bright. I don't want it that bright. I want it kind of like that. Okay, that's a little better, more of a jean color. Let's make it a little darker. All right, that's good. All right, that's passable. Okay, the robe, however, needs pockets. And this does not have pockets. And it has... Um, Kind of a satiny tie. That's not the way I pictured it. So, goodbye robe. Let's find another robe. I need something big, bulky, and kind of ugly, really. So, let me see. Now, that will do excellently well for my Elshar outfit, but for traders, but not for my purposes here. Uh, let's see, I need something that's not silky satiny, but kind of terry cloth, bulky, car coat. Hmm. I want something bulky though. Something that is more of a um, fur poncho will not do it. 
Um, let's see. And I don't want the wizard book. I want something that's just like an old Terry bathrobe. So let's see if I have anything that will fit the bill. Medieval robe. Hmm. Let's see what that looks like. That's more the look. Okay. I want to uh, lose the hood. So I'll just make that invisible. <clears throat> or maybe it's got an adjustment. <coughs> if I'm lucky, it's got an adjustment. We will take a look and see if there is a constraint on there. Oh, no adjustments? I am thoroughly disappointed. So yeah, I'm just going to have to hide the hood. So let's go down to surfaces, unless it's got, oh, it's got a hood down. Thank you, artist. Wonderful. This is from well, I don't know who the author is. This is not a recent item. It may be a Daz original, but um, I do need it to let's see. Need adjustments. Okay. Fit on clothes, yes. Um adjust the neck. It's gotta be loose. Adjust the torso. Um well if it was fitted to the figure it would help. Let's see. Fit to Genesis 8 female. Hello, are we? Yes, thank you. And this is a Genesis item. Okay, it is full body. Well, it's a coat, so we'll use the sickle yield um, UT, I can't remember what it stands for, but sickle yield is an artist that I love. This artist is wonderful, and they do a lot of morphs that fit clothing to a figure. So this way I can use my Genesis items on my Genesis 8 figure. So let it do its magic and it will fit this probe onto my figure. There we go. And all of these nice adjustments help to make it. Let's see. not doing as I hoped. Let's see. It's not quite working as well as I hoped. It's just hard. Some of these things are just really hard. So, Let's 
make the sleeve wider. Make the ellipse. Not help. Let's see. I don't really want to flatten these. I want to put them wider. So let's do that. I want them wider. Let's sleeve wider. <sighs> okay. Well, I've done all the stuff that I can do. Let's see if I make it come to the front more. Yeah. And Flare a little bit and put in it's not really helping. Do that after I close her. I probably should. Let's see. Okay. So I've done all the adjustments to see the sleeves. What if I make the sleeves longer. It's not really it. Okay, let's just go to the parameters and just make the thing bigger. Oh yeah, let's make it bigger. Um, I don't want that. but I don't want that. Um, why are the spiky things coming out? <laughs> Whoop. That's kind of weird. It does, oh. Well. Okay, these sleeves don't need to be flat. So, what can I do? Just the shoulders. A little. Don't really want to do anything to that. Okay. Well, it would help. I was looking at the right shoulder while I'm doing the adjusting. It's a beautiful row. Let's see. It's a little better. Okay, let's do the left shoulder adjust. We should do a little um, the 
Now we got it bigger. It's really big, really bulky. And they use portals for pockets, so I don't really have to worry about that. This is kind of the look I want. I do want the hood not to be like that, however. So, and I need to pull this down a little bit, but I'm not really going to show her from the back. So, what I could do is hide her forearms. That would be easy to do. So I can go abdomen lower, abdomen upper, lower, upper, left, All right, let's just hide this. This is not doing as I expect. Let's look at surfaces. It would help if I was on surfaces. Let's look at the Genesis 8 female arms. We'll just hide the arms. Geometry cut out. Oh, it hides the hands too. <laughs> this is sad. So I can't just select part of the arm. This is going to be problematic. So, Mesh Grabber, hello, I need you. All right, let's down here. Although, the more I think about this, I probably have a medieval robe that is more updated. <sighs> Let's see. If this was absolutely the only clothing that I had to uh, try, Let's see if I've got another one. All right. Because I'm just not in the mood. <laughs> okay, let's look at outerwear. There's the silk robe, but silk is not a palace robes, but they're not open. And I need an open robe. There's a long jacket. And I don't think that is going to do either. I may come back to the poncho, but... Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Don't have a lot of choices. However, this robe is more the ticket. Let's see if there is a way to thicken this. All right. First off, I'm going to make the entire thing brown. Uh, 
All right. There we go. Brown rope. Okay. I want to make it a little wider. Maybe even a little wider. And maybe a little yellower. Yeah. Good medium brown. Let's go up to parameters and see what adjustments we have. We can adjust the hips out. Just basically blow this thing out. <laughs> uh, let's see. So, let me get things so I can see them better. Okay. Where did I get to? Okay. I can just really go all out with this thing. Okay. I'm not going to fool with that, but I'm going to put all of it all the way out, yeah, because this is not form-fitting at all, so I just want it to be, and this is, okay, the bottom out. Oh, I don't want the belt to show really. Okay, so let's flare the bottom. Not too much. And let's see. Oh, that's all to do with the belt. Okay, front left. Oh, okay, and front right, oh yeah, left side in, I don't want it in, move back, move front, yeah, open left, open right. Um, <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. No, no. Okay. Okay. I don't want to shrink. Side left. Side right. Just a little bit. Twist, make it look asymmetrical. Okay. Looking pretty good. It's short sleeved. I pictured it being long sleeved, but this is not bad. This is not bad. And she is 
Um, okay, so she's going to be walking. So let's do, and I like this hair. I'm going to keep this on her. Um, this is the, what kind of hair? Isabel Casual. And not seeing it. Okay. Well, let me show you the hair. I would be amiss if I didn't tell you what things I was using in my render. So, this is the. It's a short hair. It's more of an updo. I have some new ones that I haven't used yet. But for this, I'm going to use the Isabel. And if I can find it, Isabel Casual. And this is by Neftis 3D. Neftis is a favorite of mine from way back yonder. They've been doing hair for a long time on Daz. So, yeah, I like this hair a lot. And let's see if I can do any morphs here. I can kind of... Um, I can just left shoulder up, left up. Nice adjustments. Make it all up. Bangs up. Bow size big. Not too big. Okay, I don't want it shorter. I want the sides spread out. And right, maybe I'll have the wind to the right just a little bit. Yeah, because I've got the tilt on the robe to the right. Okay, let's pose her. She's going to be walking. So, I'm going to look at walking poses. And she's trying not to look hunted. <laughs> she's going to be tense, so I'm going to kind of use these ambush poses. So, what happened to the shirt? Oh my. Okay, let's work on this shirt. Let's scale the shirt up. Maybe a little more. Oh, I can't because it will, <sighs> let's see if I can scale the robe up. Well, that's, well, I'm going to leave that alone. Um, make the sub D a little more. Okay, I don't want sharp edges. I want soft corners and edges. I want smoothing. I want a shape matching. Why is it affecting the hair? That should be the robe. <laughs> it shouldn't be. Affecting the hair. Let's see. Uh, 
Okay, general. Constraints, mesh revolution, <laughs> resolution, mesh smoothing. Okay, so the, yeah, the smoothing, I want a little more. All right, let's look at the shirt. And we're doing base shape matching. That is what I want. Ah. <laughs> okay. Now I'm seeing the, the smoothing. I wasn't earlier. That's all right. That's all right. Let's do the same for the trousers. I want to see that gone. So let's see. Hmm. Well, let's try auto follow transform. may just need to grab that with the mesh grabber. Okay, so now the trousers are... Or I could just fit the trousers to the shirt. That is a trick that usually works. So, let's find... Point at the the shirt. Let's see if that fixes it. Oh, let's not do point two. All right, fit to the shirt. Fit it to the shirt. I fixed it. Okay, now we've got everything. We haven't got shoes on her. She's going to be wearing tin shoes. And the robe needs to be fit to her shirt. So let's do one more thing. Fit to the shirt. Much better. <laughs> That fixed it. All right. Much, much better. Okay. So she's got this brown robe. She is nervous, but she's trying not to show it. Let's we'll see if I have an expression that would be good for that. So let's go back up here. To poses to expression. All right. And it will take a minute. Let's see. She's not angry. She's nervous. Let's see if there is a nervous one. I love these elegance expressions. They are really good. Let's see. of a surprise look. Yeah. I like that. I like that expression. Look at that. <laughs> oh yeah. That's like mm, yeah. 
that is um, who's the artist on this? Watches telling me it's time to drink some water. Well, I am not sure. the artist is but it's the elegance expressions for Penny and um, Genesis 8. So I use these a lot for my females. So yeah she's nervous she's walking out there she knows the Elshars are watching her and her companion and they want to take them all for slaves but she's wearing that brown robe which is scaring all the Elshars. So yeah, and she's carrying a colorful herb bag. Let me see what accessories I've got that and I need to put shoes on her. So let's find some shoes, shall we? Let's find some shoes. Wardrobe, me, footwear. Let's find some. Actually, short boots would do for this nicely, or just regular boots. So I might deviate from the tennis shoes and go boots. Let's do them over the pants. So I will go down here. Is there a fit too? Hmm. Let's see. Well, let's just see if I can give them a shape. Anytime today. Hello. Come on. Ah, oh, you're being on a computer. Come on. I'm hello. I want you to work. Hello. It's just not listening to me. All right, let's see. That hmm. It's not doing anything is what it's not doing. Mm. Okay. Let's oh that's the foot band. That's not even affecting the boot. So no, that's not. Okay. Well, who has big feet? I don't know who would have bigger feet. Let's see if Charlotte has bigger feet. No. <sighs> I'm just going to plain go to the scale because this is taking too long. All right. And there's the fit two. All right, let's try this first. Let's fit to the trousers. I don't see that that helped at all. Hmm. Okay.
Hmm. Okay, let's try a little scale. Oh, that's helping. It's kind of deforming it, too. All right. Okay. That helped a little bit. I could make the lower part of the trousers invisible. I will try that next. Okay, poke through. It happens to everybody. <laughs> yes, it does. Okay, where are the trousers now? They are parented. There. So let's okay, and the boots are parented to the trousers. So let's see. That's the right boot. The left boot also needs to be fit to the trousers. Yep. <laughs> so the the foot is sticking out. This is not good. So yeah, I want to um, not scale it. Mm. Okay, that's back to a hundred. Wow, that's, uh, they're totally coming off the feet. That's not good. So they need to be parented to her, not to the trousers. That is not going to work. Okay. Okay. All right, well, let's try the scale and see if we can do this. So that's the left one. All right. What I do to one side, I should do the other. Okay. So we'll see if we have individual constraints here. Hmm. Okay. Wow, it's got a lot of bones in there. Okay. Lots of adjustments. Okay, let's try making that bigger. Hmm. None of this is helping, so let me take all of it off.
put it back at 100%. All of it. Okay. Well, okay, and the other one. Okay, so let's try just making the bottom of the trousers invisible. So let's go to trousers. So let's... Go to display. Hmm. Okay, general. Hmm. Hello. Hello. How's your stream going? Ah, going well. This uh, pair of pants is not. <laughs> Can I do? Okay. So let's see, maybe the let's display definitely. All right. But there's only three choices here. I Hmm. Well, I could turn off visibility for that, but I was hoping for like, uh, let's look at surfaces. All right. Pants. All right. So I want the lower part of the pants, but I'm not getting an adjustment for that. So what can I do? If there's not a selectable area, then I can't do anything about it. Let's see, collision, ah. Smoothing. Now, is that helping? That um, is the entire pants. So, hmm. So, all the collision stuff is down here. I wasn't expecting that. Um, let me see. Well, let's look at the boots and see if they have something similar. Corners roundness. Let's see if we can. I uh, did that help? It may have. Let's see. I'm 
afraid to do too much down here. Let's we'll see. Round corners radius. Maybe not. I'm going to undo all of this and try again. Um, hmm. I could just go in with the mesh smoother, or I could try another pair of boots. I might try another pair of boots. Some boots do better than others. So let's try another pair of boots before I start making too many adjustments. So I'm going to look at wardrobe footwear and see what else I've got. Anytime today, thank you. Okay. I usually use the peasant boots, and they usually do pretty well, so I might just do that. They are. I have the uh, Genesis 8 version of those somewhere, but I'm not sure where. But I'm sure not seeing them. Well, let's look under outfits. Peasant outfit. Well, let's look under footwear. There's the peasant shoes. I'm not seeing the peasant boots. Probably because that's a male thing. So let's not filter. Here we go. Peasant boots. And this is Genesis 3. Male. It is footwear. So, I don't really have anything, so I'll go full body. All right. That works. Okay. So, she's got the boots, and they are doing pretty well. There's a little bit of, um, stuff, but from the front, it doesn't look bad. So, now I want to go to surfaces on that. Well, that was easy. And let's just make the, or they probably have a texture. Well, let's go to materials. And for the boots. Brown. There we go. <laughs> Not bad. Okay, so that just saved me a ton of work. Okay, and there she is in her Gowan Healer outfit. She needs a colorful stripey bag. So let's find that. So we're going to look under accessories. 
for Genesis 8 female, I want other. And let's see, and I don't want to, it's not a peasant thing. So let's find a bag. Well, let's see if I have a bag. There's a sun bag. It's not really what I had in mind. <laughs> no, that is not it. <sighs> okay, let's try the Worldly Jones bag. Oh. Okay, let's fit that to her. And it's a Genesis 3 thing. And it's a male thing. I'll just go none. <laughs> there it is. Um, but I think I want to fit it to the robe. Fit it to the robe. To the robe. Okay. It's a little better. Now let's look at parameters. And scale it up a bit. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Yikes. No, it's got to be a hundred percent. Okay, so I could move it up a little bit, I suppose. That's not fitting over that robe as I hoped. So let's see if there are, let's see front out. Oh yeah. Not that much. Let's see. Of course I could make that flat pull in more on the robe. So yeah, I need to adjust that. on the rope. Okay. Where I've got the maybe less twist. Actually that left side needs to not go out as much. And right side maybe needs to come. That's the right side. <laughs> the right side can stay where it is. The left side. Ah. Uh. The left side. Uh, the left side. Okay, we can 
And that's the left side. So what do I need to do? There's a right side in, there's not a left side in. So what do I do? There's nothing there for that. Mm. Alright. I could move this back a bit. Oh yeah, that helps. That helps. It helps. Okay. The right side needs to come back. The left side can go back out. Oh, let's see. It's the left. So, yeah. Okay, it's a little better. Maybe not as much flare. Okay, I liked the flare, but yeah. Okay, and wait front. Good. Okay. Now left, take that in, okay, and what else can I do that is the left side, so the left, shoulder affects it too, so that's Bring all of the left in. I think it helped. I'm not so sure. But yeah, that strap is not doing. Let's see, waist. Ah, all right, and the hip. The hip. Okay, it's a little better. It still needs to be out. Um, okay. Even if I bring it all the way in, it's still about the same, so I'm just going to leave it out there. Let's see. Okay, well, so what can I do with this area right here? I can just grab that with the mesh grabber and pull it out. Okay. Just a bit. And find the blue arrow and just pull on it. <laughs> okay. Let's see if that. Except it's grabbing the robe and not, well, let's push the robe in. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's grab the robe and push it in. Oh yeah, whoops, well, 
it was there, it didn't stay, did it? Let's try to push this in. Oh, okay. And let's try to push this back. I can find that little arrow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> back up. Is it going to stay? Ah, okay. Now we've got it. Now, I wish I had a way to make the bag stripity, and the bag needs to come out a little bit. So, let's see. I can make this a lot bigger and just grab it like that. All right. Okay. Let's see how that does. And I might as well fiddle with this a little bit. Even though this is not going to show. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, that belt loop. <laughs> the belt needs to go behind. So let's find the adjustments on here. The belt. Just pull the bag out and bag over jacket. Oh, well, <laughs> that solved that. Um, okay, <clears throat> I should have just looked at the adjustments. So let me go back and I will undo everything that I did. go to the bag adjustments. Pull the shoulder up, not that much. That much. Okay. Their bag over jacket. Yeah. Pull the bag out. More. Okay. And let's put that back down. Okay, cool. So I didn't have to use the mesh grabber. That's looking pretty good. Okay. I wish I could make the straps shorter, but she's got the bag. Okay, that's what's important. I can put colorful stripes on the bag in GIMP. So, unless there is a uh, pattern which I can look at. Let's see if there are materials on this thing. <laughs> Any materials? Okay. MDL is I ray. Okay.
Alright. Yeah. Okay. And now it is brown. That's kind of shiny. I'm not sure if I want the shine on there. Um, probably don't want the shine on it, so I'm not done. Let's go to surfaces. And I'm going to undo the materials. All right. And base color, I'm going to make it kind of um, light blue. Okay. And I'm not done yet. I want to select, and I don't want the mesh grabber now. I want to just select the bow. <clears throat> so, let's look at materials. Uh, hello, I'm selecting the hair. Why are you not selecting hair materials? Oh, <laughs> it helps if you don't have anything in the search. Okay. So, let's see, all right, filter by context, please. Okay, accessories, there we go. All right, what color bow is she going to wear? If she's going to wear blue, that shade is all right. It's probably, um, okay. Yeah, that's fine. All right. In the render, it will probably be fine. And it's not going to show anyway. So that bag should not show through well. So hmm, it needs to be in a different angle. So let's select the bag yeah let's go back up to parameters and Pull the bag out. Okay. That is good. That's uh, still showing through the robe. So I'm not done yet. I don't want it to show through the robe. So what can I do about this? I can do mesh grabbers, what I can do, and I can, or actually I could do the robe adjustment out. So let me select the robe, the robe.
the robe has a back adjustment. So I can look at the back adjustments. That's not going to help. Um, let's see. I could use the move front, which will... That's not going to fix it. That didn't fix it. Okay, well... Hmm. There should be some back adjustments on this. Yeah, back. Right. Back left. Hmm. Well, hmm. that helped it a lot, actually. Okay. And I could do her like that. That would fix it. Okay. Now. Here we go. I'll do it like that. Okay. Okay, I think we are ready for the render now. So let me check my camera position. <laughs> That's all right. And let's see who's with us. Oh, hello, Zero AX2 and Alien Conglomeration. Another TTV viewer. I'm probably going to mask her, mask her this one. Lilitif. Lilitif. Hello. And Nintendo Switch XL. Welcome back. So, Lilitif, you are new to me. Hello and welcome to the live stream tonight. So, glad to have you folks with us. And now we are ready to render. Let's render. Let's see how it looks. Once I do. So here's Rista in Gowan Robe. Okay. Boom. Oh, did I adjust those lights? Wait. Stop. Wait. Let me check the lights. It's still going. <laughs> Once you start a render, it is unstoppable. So, I think the lights are probably okay. This is my default blonde female. So, I have probably already adjusted those lights anyway. So, we'll see. Let's let her render. And because I did escape, I can't see the screen that tells me <laughs> how far we've got to go. 
So that's weird that it doesn't stop the render, but yet it gets rid of your window. Let's see if it's still hidden in Windows somewhere. Nope. It's not hidden in Windows. It's just gone. <laughs> so the sub windows, that's wow. I'll just take a look in my DAS directory. It sounds like it's finished already. It may not have finished because I tried to interrupt it. So, DAS renders directory. Oh, it did. And the lighting is all right. I will show you. Well, I'm glad I didn't interrupt it then. It did pretty well. Okay. And let's zoom in and see her face. The bag did okay. I've got a little poke through there that wasn't showing up. And yeah, not bad. Not bad. Okay, so we have Krista. Let's make her companion. So we've got um, two people in the companion. We're going to have um, two shy and one carrying another. So let's make Revan. So we'll go back here. I'm going to save this as of course we're going to save it under Genesis 8 female characters okay earthens Krista 8 Oh, you know what? I used my default character. I did not adjust her size or her face. Let me do that real quick before we leave her. So Krista is a bigger girl. So we're going to do this. We're going to go to... Actor, and we're going to go to Head, Face Gen, and No, I don't want to do that. Let's see. Let's Give her a Gwen face. All right. So here we are. Okay, so we're going to use Gwen for this model. And she is from one of Mama's World War II pictures. <laughs> And I have a skin for her, so let's use it. Because, um, oh, where's surfaces? There we go. All right. Let me go to Genesis 8 Female. We're going to go to face. And we're going to go to the base color here and browse and get 
out of the data directory, which is where the default skins are kept. And we're going to go to my DAS directory where I keep these. So Let me go to my runtime, two textures, to face gen, Genesis 8 female, and find the Gwen skins. There we are. And get her face. Okay. Now we'll go to fingernails. So we're going to find the Gwen face and browse and get the arms. And then we'll do the same for the arms. When arms. Once you have the directory in ears, we're going to use the Gwen face. And irises we're going to use the Gwen eyes. So we're going to pick that Gwen face and then browse and get the eyes. And then lips and mouth are different. Oh, it's still the face one, so face. Okay, mouth is different. I'm just going to use the default mouth and teeth. Toenails will have to get the arms. Then we're going to browse to the legs and get the legs. Legs, toenails. We should have the legs selected. We do. So get out of that. Torso. Pick the legs that will go in there and browse. Get the torso. see so I got the arms, the ears, face, fingernails, irises, legs, and torso. So we should have everything. Now we've got our face gen skin on our model. Now we need a body shape. So that's the thing that I was forgetting. So let's go back up to full body, people, and real world. And we're gonna, I'm gonna pick the Victoria 8 body details. and the Victoria 8 body. But now we are going to go adjust it. So let's look at the real world. Body size, we're going to make her a little weighty. So we're going to make her bigger. Hopefully everything will iterate and do like it's supposed to do. Okay. 
and we'll make her a bit on the heavy side, not too far, but a little bit. Okay. Now, all right, and she's young, so we're going to leave her like that, and we're going to have to add some iteration on the clothing, I'm afraid, because she's kind of popping out of there. The shirt handled it. The trousers did not. So let's go to the trousers and see if maybe we can just adjust the scale a little bit. Higher five percent. We're still going to have to add iterations because it's just not working. Nothing is working. Oh dear. The jeans are not working. And nothing is working. So the um, we're going to need to make the robe bigger. Let's see. Where did the robe end up? There it is. Let's make it bigger also. If we can. <sighs> well, let's just add a subdivision level. Maybe not. Maybe subdivision level is not what I need to do. I just need for it to be smooth. Okay. Go back to square one. Okay, here we go. Smoothing iterations. Let's add more. Uh, let's not. Okay. Seven is about as much as I need to go, I think. Or eight. Can we get to ten? Uh, Eleven. Fifteen. Okay. And the bag might need a little more smoothing. Okay, let's go to the trousers. And bump that up. Getting there. Don't want to do too much. Okay. Alright, I've got 20 iterations on that. Let's just do one at a time until it works. It doesn't like the bigger figure. <laughs> she gained weight and now it doesn't work anymore. Isn't that how our closets do? 
oh, you gain a little weight and nothing fits in your closet and it doesn't fit right. Oh my goodness, the trials of gaining weight. Oh, my poor character. Okay. She's going to be saying, oh, it's all those pizza parties at the library. I've got to bring lunch on that day and just not have pizza. Oh, but I love pizza. Oh, this just isn't working. Um, what else can I do? Well, I might need to undo the scaling. That actually helped. Okay, let's go to her and hide her legs. We can do that in surfaces. We can just hide her legs. So we go to geometry cutout and just whoop, <laughs> that worked. Okay, it almost fixed it completely. So um let's see so that's legs let's hide the torso as well shall we all right we'll go uh we can't hide the torso because eh, next count <laughs> we can't do that Holy cow, what can we do? We hit our legs. Why is this still showing? Okay, but I've got some stuff to work with. Now we can use Mesh Grabber to push this in. All right. Poke through, go away. Poke through away. Boink. There we go. Now, almost gone. And poke through away. Go away. Ah, that didn't work. Let's try it again. Maybe I didn't go in the right direction. Let's try the blue direction. Let's try the red direction. If I can get that little arrow. Well, let's do the blue again. Oh, okay. Let's move this. Try the red direction. Hmm. The blue. Hmm. Okay. Red direction again. Huh. Blue. Save us, Blue. Save us from poke through. Oh, my heavens. Well, red. And blue. I'm so blue. Uh, let's see. Ah, goodness. Well, let's try grabbing the pants and pull them out. Hmm. 
and see what I did. What did I do? Heavens. Hmm. Well, I could just turn her a little more. <laughs> I'll cheat. Okay. <sighs> and there is going to be stuff to fix in this renderer. There is going to be stuff to fix. Goodness. Okay. Okay. Well, that's about as good as it gets. Well, I'm not satisfied. <laughs> I am not satisfied. No, no, no. Okay. Let's get that poked in. Oh, yeah. Much better. Okay. And let's get that poked in. Much better. Now, oh, still a little bit. Okay, much better. All right. I love Mesh Grabber. It's so good. All right. When I come out, that shows. So let's poke that too. Okay. Huh, and it's still doing it. All right. Okay. Let's get her centered. And now we are ready. So there's Krista. All right, now I'm going to make this a two, and I am going to check the lighting just to see. Actually, the lighting's pretty good, so, all right. So, let's render it. And off we go to the render races. Woo! Okay. And finally I got her fixed. <laughs> okay. And I'll even let you see the comparison. So you can see how different she looks. It does help to modify your character and make it yours. The default character is not really mine. Not until I modify it and make it look like my character looks like. We're getting there. And I'm also playing Black Desert Mobile. <laughs> My character will have lots of good loot in his bag when I get through with this. 
So this is my typical thing while my stuff is rendering. I'm playing games or, you know, stuff like that or working with my directories or writing. I do write. So let's look at the renders. Okay. Oh, and all this time I didn't have it on Daz. Sorry, I did it again. But this is the new one, and that is the old one. So, a little bit of a difference. Default character. and the real thing. So, there we go. I still have a little poke through there, but it's not nearly as much to fix, so I can go back and adjust that too. And what is that? Oh, that's just the light on her coat. So, that's not really a fault at all. That is so, and that belt. <laughs> I need to hide the belt. So, but, and there's a little bit of poke through down here. It's not terrible, but it's definitely needing fixing. So there's a few little things that I need to fix, but that is just lighting. So that's not bad. I do need to fix that. That, that, and that is definitely not lighting. <laughs> and that. <sighs> but Mesh Grabber will fix it. But the other spots are okay. That is not. And I like her expression. I really do. So, yeah. And I like the Gwen model. That works. So, um, cool. There's Krista. So, I'm going to go ahead and end the live stream, and I will make some more characters for this story the next time. So, y'all have a great weekend, and see you Monday. Take care. Bye. Let me, well, I haven't ended yet. I haven't found my <laughs> Twitch studio. There it is. Bye.